Hey friends, welcome back. Hope you're doing good. As always, as usual, I'm also good. So friends, at this morning time, I'm here to discuss about all the few things uh, that we waited for this company. The preferential issue price is finally disclosed to the stock exchanges. The EGM notice is out and we are going to discuss all those factors. And if you have seen me, I said my expectations, the preferential issue price should be minimum 1 rupee. I think maximum it can be in the range of almost 1 rupees and 20 paise. And friends, GV Films has allocated the preferential issue price at 1 rupees and we are going to discuss those factors. If you ask me whether there is a good preferential price as per 2018's record where the company has already allocated at 1 rupee, I think this is somehow better. Now they are allocated at 1 rupee only. If you compare to the market price as well as the issue price, still the share price is at a discount level what we are seeing here right now. Okay, and friends here, uh, these are the persons who are going to invest in this company. So almost 8 people who are the non-promoters, they are going to invest in this company, almost 95 crores. They are going to be allotted 95 crores of uh, worth of allotments as you can see here. Equity shares per warrant to be issued the issue price of almost 1 rupee per share. And that is going to be one of the such important things that we want to see here. And not only that. Because we want to know what is the purpose for which the company is going to invest this 95 crores. Because it's going to be such a huge amount and there are also going to be a dilution in the stock exchanges. But let us see how or where the company is going to invest such funds. As you can see here, objects of the preferential issue, the company intends to utilize the proceeds raised through the issue for production and distribution of OTT mini series production and distribution of OTT mini series and regional films and that is going to be one of the important things why I am stressing this point again and again is that G films is known to be producing and distribution of almost many good films in the in the long date back days old olden days but I think it missed its track if this 95 crores is going to be utilized perfectly in the days coming by, we would be able to make sure the company can get its business back. And friends, here is where the things are clean distribution has been given. Film production and distribution, they are almost going to use 89 crores. Marketing expenses, they are going to issue almost 5 crores. Issue expenses, 0.75 crores. And overall expenses, 0.25 lakhs. I mean, uh, 25 lakhs. And all these expenses, the company plans to use by the March 2025. So, which means basically 2 years from here. So, from here, what we can understand here is that, from here, what we can understand here is that, the company A intends to use the entire cash by 2025. So which means they have such plans, which means they have such plans for that overall business expansion as well as capacity in the days coming by. So I think the things are set and I think the company if you are holding the share, I think we in profit right now. I think uh, I'm just waiting for the share to cross the one digit mark. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm this positive, but since the share is under the 500 crores of market capitalization, there could be a greater chance that this company can also come under ESM stage 2 in the days coming by if the share is going to rise continuously. Let us see what is going to be friends. Thank you and bye.